Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue dashboard work because last video I will show you about the like a fees collection report means collect fee report. So in this video, we can do like a dashboard work inside a teacher side because the teacher side we have, we have not done dashboard work. So means dashboard work we need to do. So let's log in as a teacher's account and I can show you how to make a dashboard work inside a teacher side. So let's go to teacher's account and copy for this teacher emails is a testing email. So I just I copy and I can put here one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try again because I, I think we have changed password. So I don't know. Okay. Now working. So no issue. So we need to remove all thing about the teacher dashboard. We can do it like my students We need to make a total count my class total count my exam timetable suppose here is a there suppose my exam timetable we can't do it so whatever possible way we can show inside dashboard okay so first of all is a possible like total students so we can do it after we can do it like a total subject total class we can do it like this after is a possible any other place so other way so we can do it like a attendance is possible not possible homework is also not possible mark register also not possible so I think two or three things is a possible so we can short out inside dashboard work and I can show you how to make inside a teacher dashboard. So just log in as a means log in as a teachers and just need to go like a teacher side like a teachers resources views inside teacher inside into go dashboard dot blade dot php. So just clear all thing. Okay, I just clear all thing. Otherwise you need to make go to like admin side inside into go to like his dashboard. You can copy all the records in admin one and just paste inside a teacher dashboard. So let's go to teacher dashboards and just remove all things and just paste here. Okay. And after go to like again, like a app HTTP controller and uh, like a dashboard work and just copy all thing and put inside a teacher side. Okay. So let's go to and refresh the page so no any error generated because we have copy all the controller classes last time we have did and same thing we have put here also we have did like here like a copy all the dashboard work means like teacher the admin side dashboard work and put inside a teacher side so let's go to back again and refresh the page so you can see it like a showing the like a same like admin one but we don't want to show like same as admin one we just need to show o one one so we can remove one by one so first of all we don't want to need like a total received payment so we can remove today received a payment we don't want to need like a total student we can leave it and also we don't need a total parent admin we don't want to need a total exam okay total exam is i think possible because here is a he is a there exam uh, not there so just removing no need total class we need total subject we need okay so three things is a possible so we can leave it so just back and refresh the page so let's save this file and just go and back the page and refresh the page so you can see three part we ever leave it total student so means this is the student whatever your student there so right now showing the one student so showing the one student here like one more info we are clicking so going to here so let's copy this url and change here url okay and here we can choose like a like color so we don't want to we can change like a second and third color so here we are there like we can choose it is like primary and last one we can make it like success otherwise we can make it warning whatever do you want to like you can make it box like this okay so like this looks like better so you can understand suppose i can go to my class and subject so here you can show it like my class and subject so same url but is a total class and total subject is a different different can show okay same you are because we ever show in same you are like here you can see it like a subjects with here showing the two classes class one and class two so subject is a like a multiples okay so just go back then refresh the page so you can see it like more info i click in so it's going to url so this is the done so let's make it now dynamic this is the words because right now is account is a frog so just go back again and we can remove other thing we don't want to need let's make it all thing we can remove just leave it like a total subject total class and total students you can leave it because we need to work here okay three function just leave it 
other other function you can remove here so everything is good now so let's go to like a uh, my student and we can check how we can made a query so this query wise we can get our list so just we need to go to like uh, crowds inside need to go web and just go to like student inside my student so here we have made like a get student teacher get teacher student so this is the function we ever did before inside a my student like here so we can copy same function and just we can write here like count otherwise everything working very well no need to change anything so just here go and you can copy otherwise this is the function we have did here like a dashboard inside we can change this function like a total student and you can make it like here count and here we can pass whatever teacher login he is a id means teachers id and we can copy inside a users model inside creating new function like a get teacher student count so here we have made like assign class wise all the connection just copy and paste suppose you are following this series so you can understand otherwise very hard to understanding so you need to check old video so you can get it simple work it is not big deal just you can make it like a paginate to count and we don't want to change anything let's remove this other we don't need now and also we can remove this one user type we will choose three so three and we have already passed here one parameter like teacher's id so this teacher id we have used here and we can pass inside assign class teachers inside dot teacher's id and you can see it here okay and just we can remove like here like uh, users dot id we don't want to select all things so just remove all other party inside select okay so everything is good now just go back again refresh the page so you can see it so you can see it here like a total student okay so same thing we can do it like total class total student you can see it here like a one so he's showing here one okay so let's make it now total class is equal to what is the total class right now there just click on the more info so you can see it like part time ss2 is a total class is a two but subject is a like one two three four five six seven eight subject there so here showing the eight and here showing the two so let's make it this query so this query we can make it so same thing we can go his route first so just go to teachers so web and here is there is a my class subjects so you can see it this is a query inside assign class teachers model so just copy this model name and you can declare here model because we need to use this model and just go to inside get my class subjects get my class subjects just go here so what do you want to go so you can use it like this app model inside you can see it like a assign class teacher model and here is a query is a very big query suppose you are following the series so you can understand otherwise impossible to understand okay so i already told you many time but i can tell you again so just copy all thing and paste bottom other paste bottom whatever place do you want to like let's make it paste up and here we can get it like a subject count okay and just we can make like here id we don't want to need any other things so just select inside you can make it id and other part you can remove and here you also you can check get my class subject count means is a subject count for this teachers and here you can also change like a count so this is the done and just we can declare this function to inside dashboard so here we can make it like total subject so just do here and you can use this model to here so this model inside we have created like a get my class subject count and also we need to pass like one parameter means teachers id so here you can see teachers id you see and this teacher id we have passed inside a assign class teachers inside so we are getting here like a total subjects okay so let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it is a total subject here total subject showing the 8 so you can see it like you can make it count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 showing the 8s so working very well no issue same thing we can do like total classes so total classes we need to use a like a group by i think so and we get it so here already there one function inside assign class controller sorry is assign class teacher model inside group by you can see it like group by class teacher id you can see it so this is the meaning about we can get a total class we have already used this function different place so just we can put it here like a 
count and also you can pass it like select inside id and remove the other things okay so let's go to down we will see this error so just remove this is the also comma it's not error i think is working but i will see so i just remove here i can put also count same thing we can pass here like a teacher's id get my class subject group count means we just get here like a class okay just copy this one and just go back again and here we can put and here also we can change like a total class to assign class teacher model okay so just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here only two year uh, i think error there assign class teachers count parameter we have oh we have forget to pass the parameter here so just pass here one parameter because we have not passed here you can see it like one parameter there teachers id so this teacher against what is the class there we need to show here so here you, you can see like total one class but we have a there total two classes so something error there class join group by is deletes assign class class id um, here showing it two so meaning about we need to show here also two assign class this is teacher's id Mm -hmm. one minute i am checking select star dot id and here also showing counts total class let me make dying dump so i can see it what's the total i get and just refresh the page here sorry go to dashboard and you can see it like a one showing but here showing the two one and two i think so this is the error about like active in active so status teacher class This status is equal to zero. Class group by assign class ID. Oh, because we are using the group by, so meaning about is a count always get a one. So let's comment out this code group by, and just you can refresh so you can see it count showing the two. You are always using the group by, so you are always get a one count. Suppose you are using the get method inside group by, so working. Okay, so we don't want to use here group by. Just remove the group by, and after you can see it two counts. So this is the error. Not error, just remove the group by. Just go back again, refresh the page, so you can see it like a total class is equal to two. So here we have did like a total sub student, total class, and total subject. So you can see it like anything is missing, so we can do it like my exam timetable. We can't do it here also. So my calendar inside we can't do it. Mark register I will show you attendance, mark register, my notice board. So also you can provide like here my notice board counts so you can do it let's make a my not notice board counts so you can understand okay what is the total notice so here you can make it like another one box total notice so look like better and showing the fourth so we can just go back again and you can copy last one and here you can make it like a total notice board total subjects total notice board and also we can put it this is the link like total notice board so just copy and paste here okay so here we can make it dynamic so first we can create a query so let's go to dashboard and you can see like fourth one we can change to success color so look like better and do you want to change this icon so you can change it your own way okay like here you know there about that so you can change it your icon every place do you want to change okay i click on the more info so you're going to my notice board so just go to these routes like uh, we need to go routes inside web.php inside go to my notice board teachers and just copy this all the line like uh, control line and just go to dashboard and here we can make another one the data total notice board here you can put it okay and here i can go like a notice board inside i can go so you can see it here like a uh, okay here we need to copy this function and find out this function so here is a function there so just copy all thing and just paste bottom and we remove the like all the filter we don't want to need just remove the filter and all the query you can understand i think because i already explained like last few video you can see it following the series so you can understand okay just i remove the select inside i have put id and also i can put it here count 
so return just count and here we have message 2 means that this is the parameter we have passing here and just put it here like a count so also you can use it like a count and this is the same function we can use inside teacher side and parent side so same thing work because here we are already creating like a basic function because we are using the user type which user login this user against we can showing the data so let's declare this function here means model here okay so this is a total notice board so just go to dashboard and put here so this is the done and here is a communicate controller we can close and here is a dashboard controller can save and notice board inside we have made a query about the counting about the his notice board total notice board let's go to back and go to dashboard so you can see it like total notice board 2 and also you can see it like a 2 here there so working very well no issue so just we have copy all thing and just remove the filter after select box inside we have just count like id and descending order we also don't need but leave it we don't have any issue this reason we can leave it otherwise descending order we also don't need inside count let's remove because we don't need so why we can use just remove and just remove this comma okay just go and back refresh so working very well you can see it so teacher dashboard you can see it like this otherwise do you want to show like last attendance slash notice board like you can lots of information do you want to show so you can show it inside teacher dashboard but i will show only four information right now total student total classes total subject and total notice board and i hope do you have understand anything and i don't think we need to cover anything else inside a teacher dashboard so do you want to add more info so you can do your own logic because all data all query all thing there inside a like a side menu so you can do it so next video i can show you inside student side student side we can make also dashboard work and after we can make teacher side dashboard work after we can start like a chat module because chat module is a taking time and it's very good and i can explain very well because chat module you need to understand carefully i am not doing i am not doing la like a real time but i will show you real time using node.js like my new series i am not doing inside because node.js wise i can show you clearly how we can use it how it's a basic way and how we can do it like a real time suppose you can typing and how we can sending the message okay how to send a file how to send the images all thing i can show you inside a real time and suppose we can drag and drop such drag and drop images to how we can upload inside a like a our editor means like a message system chat system i can also show you but the whole thing is a step by step i can show you and we can cover about the chatting now we don't want to use like notification so i just remove the notification icon we don't want to need suppose i have a time so i can do it because i need to start my new series like a e-commerce platform and I have a clear all thing. I don't think I have a remain, remaining anything about the like a school management system. So what do you think is a remaining about anything? So you can do it and you can do own way. Okay. So I hope do you want to understand like a teacher dashboard work and do you want to see like this video more? So please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.